This video will briefly demonstrate how to create the harmonized share dataset, and that is done using Stata. From the Gateway to Global Aging Data website, you can click the Downloads tab at the top. From here, you can follow the link to download the share survey data. From the share website, if you have not yet registered for the share data, you can download the share user statement and follow the instructions to register. And if you have registered, you can click share data access to get access to download the share data. Just enter your username and password. Once logged in, then you will begin to download all of the files that you need. This includes waves one through seven, as well as the longitudinal weights and the all waves cover screen data. You can then look at those downloads and open them in a file explorer. From here, we want to unzip every single one of these zip files. So for each one, we'll unzip the folder. Once we've unzipped all those files, we should have nine folders and we could copy those folders into a separate directory. For instance, in my C drive, I have a folder I've labeled share data, and I'm gonna copy those nine folders here. The next step is I'm gonna create one additional folder. It doesn't matter what you name this, but I'll name this uh, share wave X. And inside of that folder, we're gonna place the files from both the all waves cover screen dataset into that folder and then we're also going to place all the files from the longitudinal weights folder into that separate folder. From here, if you haven't already, we want to download the Stata creation code. From the downloads page, you can click on Harmonize Share Stata Code and then click to download. That is a .do file, which is a program file in Stata. So you want to make sure to open that file using Stata. You might get a warning about some encoding and it's fine to re-encode. And here you can see the details of this file. In this file, we're going to change those first lines to tell Stata where we've saved the data on the computer that we're using. I can copy that full directory name uh, through Windows Explorer and then edit that line in the Stata Do file editor. And we're gonna do that for every single one of these lines. Once we've done that, we want to make sure that we save the updated do file in Stata, and then we can return to our Stata command line and type do, and then we can just copy, if you'd like, the uh, do file name there, and we can start to run that Stata creation code. This process will probably take several hours, but it doesn't require any additional work on your end. You just let Stata run. Once you come back and Stata is finishing up the data set, Stata saves that data set inside of the folder we specified. If you have any additional questions, you can always email us at help at g2aging.org.